10 people whose dogs inherited a fortune. Number 10. Gail Posner. Gail Posner was born with a silver spoon in her mouth. Being the daughter of the famous American businessman and philanthropist Victor Posner, she never had to worry about money. Her pet, Conchita, a little chihuahua, was always the center of her attention. She had never hesitated to spoil her pets with luxurious tokens of love, like a 15,000 Cartier necklace or a god Cadillac. The blessed animal, who had its own bedroom and bathroom, was pampered with weekly spa treatments and used to proudly accompany the mistress on her lunch dates. When Gail died at the age of 67, she surprised her own son by leaving a $3 million trust fund in an $8.3 million beachfront mansion in Miami in the name of her favorite dog. Favorite son, though? Hey. Number 9. Leona Helmsley. Leona Helmsley was an American businesswoman famously known as the Queen of Mean because of her hair trigger temper. She was the owner of the Helmsley Hotel chains, and by the 80s was a well known household name. Though the world remembers her as a woman with a volatile temper who was involved in massive income tax fraud, she was an adoring mistress to her lapdog, naturally named Trouble. When Leona died at the age of 87, she excluded a bunch of her relatives, including two of her own grandchildren, from her will. She did not, however, forget her lap companion. In her will, she left trouble a cool $12 million. This rare generosity exhibited by an otherwise mean woman made Trouble the most hated dog in the world for a spell. The poor dog is said to have received quite a few death threats over her life, because clearly dogs can read. A court intervention later cut Trouble's bequeathed grant from $12 million to $2 million. This generous sum was still more than enough to pay for the dog's luxurious maintenance for the next 10 years, covering the annual $100,000 for full-time security, $8,000 for grooming, and $1,200 for food. Trouble's trainer was paid a handsome $60,000 salary. Trouble, who is said to have lived up to her mistress's reputation by exhibiting exotic biting skills, died in 2012 at the ripe old age of 12. Number 8. Nora Hardwell Nora Hardwell, a reclusive spinster, lived alone with her only companions, being her two dogs, Tina and Kate. She couldn't bear the thought of her dogs being left stranded after her death, so this loving mistress wrote a will in which she left a trust of $1 million and clearly stated it was for the maintenance of any dog or dogs which I may own at my death for the period of 21 years from the date of my death or until the death of the last of my dogs, if earlier. After her death, her beloved companions continued to stay in her home with four acres of lawn and had a fat million to take care of their needs. Nora ensued that her canine friends never missed anything after her death, except for the loving touch of their mistress. Number 7. Sidney Altman Sidney Altman, a sharp businessman, had made quite a fortune by selling bathroom fixtures. He had a long-term relationship with his girlfriend, Marie Dana, and when he died at the age of 60, it was expected that he would leave most of his fortune to her. But events took an unexpected twist when it was revealed that his $6 million estate was left to Samantha. The good news was that Samantha wasn't some young, sexy mistress who Altman had secretly been schmoozing. The bad news, however, was that Samantha was a cocker spaniel, Altman's first and true love. The dog was left a massive sum of $350,000 and a posh house in Beverly Hills. Dana, on the other hand, was allotted an annual stipend of just $60,000, and only if she took care of the dog. The infuriated Goldman has since sued Altman's estate, stating that she, being the human lover of the deceased, deserved to be treated better than a dog. Number 6. Lee Alexander McQueen Lee Alexander McQueen, a British fashion designer, committed suicide when he was 42. On his suicide note, he had scribbled the words, Look after my dogs. His display of affection, however, was not restricted to mere words. McQueen's $26 million will left each of his three beloved English bull terriers, Juice, Minter, and Callum, a generous sum of $82,000 each for their upkeep and maintenance, so long as they shall live. His love for animals also showed elsewhere, as he left $165,000 to both the Battersea Dogs and Cats Home and the Blue Cross Animal Welfare Charity. Number 5. Majelle Barrett Rodenbury Majelle Barrett Rodenbury, wife of Star Trek creator Jean Rodenbury, left a handsome sum of $4 million to her pet dogs in her will. These dogs were apparently given the right to live in one of her luxurious mansions until they died. The concerned owner was not content, however, until she made sure that her will allotted another $1 million to any local employee who would choose to live and care for the pets. Number 4. Eleanor Ritchie Eleanor Ritchie was the heiress of the Quaker State Refining Corporation, so it goes without saying that she was filthy rich. Young Eleanor was a quiet girl with very little or no social interest. The only person she was close to was her mother, and when she died in early 1960, Eleanor was left devastated. To soothe her emotional wounds, she turned to dogs for companionship. 
She didn't just buy dogs, but rather rescued stray dogs from the streets, and she didn't settle on two or three pups. By the time she died, she had 150 dogs in her shelter. The woman did not let her death render her canine friends homeless yet again. She left a trust, possibly over $12 million, to take care of her dogs. After the last of her companions died, the remaining amounts from the trust went to the Auburn University Research Fund for research into animal diseases. Number 3. Carlotta Liebenstein Carlotta Liebenstein was a German countess who was immensely fond of her pet, a fine German shepherd dog named Gunther III. Apparently the countess couldn't even think of leaving her favorite pet off her will. She left her star canine a tidy sum of $80 million and did not include a clause like, until he dies. This is result in Gunther IV, the lucky offspring of Gunther III, inheriting the fortune from its father. The caretakers and trust managers of the dog turned out to be quite smart, and instead of wasting the inheritance, did some smart investments. Today, Gunther IV's properties are worth at least $372 million. The dog is currently the proud owner of a number of villas and mansions, including ones acquired from pop superstar Madonna. The dog is living a luxurious, pampered life with a personal maid, chauffeur-driven limousine, and a custom-built swimming pool, all thanks to his father's big-hearted owner. Number 2. Anne E. Dyer Annie Dyer loved and trusted her pet, a dog named Fanny, more than anything in the world. This was not terribly surprising because her own husband, who was supposed to be the rock and pillar of her life, had turned against her. The woman found solace and much-needed companionship in her dog instead. In the year 1909, the unfortunate woman was shot to death by her husband. However, the wistful thinking of Annie made sure that her Fanny was not left on the streets after her death. She left her $25,000 estate in the name of a couple in Buffalo, provided they cared for Fanny and spent much of the money on her. Fanny definitely must have missed her mistress, but was thankfully left in good care. Number 1. Diana Myberg Brewery Baroness Diana Myberg was very fond of dogs. She already had a pet dog, Jason, when she decided to bring home another homeless dog, Jasper. She hardly had time to pamper her newfound companion, though, as she died within a few weeks of bringing him home. However, the concerned mistress had already secured the future of her four-legged friends. She had willed them £25,000 each to make sure they never lived a life of misery. Jasper ended up collecting Jason's share of £25,000 upon his death, thereby doubling his inheritance. In addition to this mammoth sum, the dog was allowed to stay in the Baroness's mansion, and Mrs. Myberg had made sure that her son-in-law, Sir Benjamin Slade, was left in charge of managing Jasper's money. Slade invested the fortune in the stock market and is said to have tripled the dog's fortune. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button in the top right. Our channel has loads of other awesome videos just like this.